Hi, I'm John, I'm Year 9. I'm Molly, I'm in Year 11. Hi, my name is Rob and I'm in Year 11. Hi, I'm Anya and I'm in Year 9. I'm Grace and I'm in Year 8. So my name is Josephine and I'm in Year 10. Hi, I'm Joe, I'm in Year 10. favourite subjects are geography and history um, and PE probably. I really enjoy biology because I like learning about your own body and you can relate to it. My favourite subjects would be PE and French and maybe maths. It's probably got to be PE or um, biology. Some of my favourite subjects, I think, are probably ICT and music and science. So we do loads of interactive stuff in the like practicals in music. We'll play on the keyboards and the guitars and the drums. Um, ICT, obviously, we're always on computers, um, and it's really good fun. One of my favourites probably be art because I'm able to express myself and be creative. I like maths because it's quite methodical and you can just work through it at your own pace and get the right answer, hopefully. Our lessons are an hour long, usually. The activities range. We normally start with a starter question to get our brains in gear. Um, it's not always things like copy and just writing your book. Um, it tends to be um, the teachers try and make them really fun for us. We do partner work, teach work, copying down or watching some videos. Um, we sometimes watch some clips to help us get all, in more information about the lesson. The teachers try and make it seem as active as we can. So we've always got worksheets we're working on and working together as pairs and in groups and everybody's always got a part to play. When you join in Year 7, uh, there's lots of awards that you can get. So when you're in Year 7 and 8, you can get credits and then as you progress through the school, you get um, certificates. So the award schemes are really great because, again, they help push you further. Um, we've obviously got, there's lots of different colour ties for things like prefects and student council. Um, obviously the badges for big achievements, generally outside of the lessons when you're pushing to go further. Um, credits, generally get credits for um, hard work in lessons and in the later years you'll get weekly awards which are even better. Um, the credit system is from year 7 to year 8. You can receive credits from class um, by trying hard achieving things and just putting effort in your, into your work or your homework. A range of students always achieve awards. So my dad always said people with a lot of badges look like they had piano keys on their blazers. Uh, every subject has their own badge scheme. So the bronze, silver and gold. So bronze award was for doing the AFCOM challenge, which you do in year eight and again in year nine. So 12 mi mile walk that you'd have the entire day to complete. And then silver, both year eight and year nine are for attending a club and then gold is for getting a certain amount of credits and then when you move into year nine, it's for getting a certain amount of excellence to commitment to learning on your report. Oh, the school's got loads of clubs that everyone can take part in, from chess to rugby. Uh, I'm part of the hockey club and the running club and I enjoy taking part in them at lunch times. I personally really enjoy netball with Miss Goldman or Miss Dunnett. I find it really interesting to learn about and play and it's just a captivating sport to enjoy and just have a nice time with. There's loads of stuff like archery, um, there's mountain biking, things like climbing. They've all been really, really good fun. There are loads of clubs, both sport and not. So I've been in the hockey club since year seven. We do training every week and then we go play matches with other schools, which is always really fun. And sometimes you get to miss lessons for it. And then in year eight, I joined dance club, which isn't a competitive club. It's more of just a fun, relaxed club. And you get a lot of control in that club where you can just make up your own choreography. So last year, I was invited to take part in the mock elections as there was a real election going on throughout the country. Us being too young to vote allowed the mock election for younger members of the school to vote and I was lucky enough to be one of the candidates as such. And fortunately, um, we got the most votes and we won, which was great.
the school offers many trips throughout the years from educational ones to activities week at the end of the year. Yeah, there are so many trips, a lot of ones abroad. So last year for Year Nines, there's a trip to Germany to go and see the Christmas markets, which is always very fun. And in year, there are trips within the country. So in Year 7, I went to Cheddar Gorge for the day, which was very fun as well. Um, but I've been to France and I've been to Croyd each year and it's been great. Um, in Year 7, we went on a geography trip up to Cheddar Gorge. It was a really good day out. Um, all of us had loads of fun. Every year we have an activities week for you to participate in. Uh, activities week is the last week of the summer and it's dedicated to trips for years seven to year nine. During activities week I've been to water sports in Cornwall in year nine and we stayed at a youth hostel in Cornwall and did loads of surfing and water sport activities. It was really good. Mr Eve provides lots of activities for you to do after school or during school such as climbing, canoeing and mountain biking. The ski trip in Year 11 is a reward for their hard work and the Iceland trip is a geography trip. They can be educational but also recreational. When I went on a trip in Activities Week doing high ropes and there was a sort of leap of faith thing where you had to jump off a platform and I asked to go off backwards and I didn't look down as I went, so I landed on top of one of the instructors by mistake. Yeah, I'm also really looking forward to some of the bigger trips like the Iceland trip and there's the Austria ski trip. Um, those are going to be great in those years. Yeah, every teacher, I don't know a teacher that won't sit with a student at lunchtime just to ask how they are or help with some homework. Definitely, teachers are always happy to take time out of their, their own time to make sure we're happy and doing well in school. Oh yeah, teachers always help and they never make you feel stupid for not knowing something. It's all, they understand people learn at different paces. So that was my most memorable moment was probably in Year 7 when we went to Taunton School to do a maths challenge and our team came first and we all got some really good prizes, so a box of roses, the chocolate and £25 to spend at the Odeon, a little gift card. My funniest moment at school has to be the German market trip and rocking up 15 minutes late to a, a meeting spot. Uh, Miss Franken wasn't best pleased about that, but me and Will went off searching for Christmas decorations, spent too long and and turned up 15 minutes late. Well, on the cycling in France trip that I went on, we had to eat snails and frog's legs as our dinner. Well, not only our dinner, but. So that was interesting. I can't say that they were tasty, but they were a different palate. <laughs> <laughs> Ofcom School is different to other schools around here because of our facilities from the venue that's been made a couple of years ago to the sports hall. I don't know any other school that's got facilities like this. If I had to describe the school, I'd say it's fun, inspiring and inclusive. I think probably the best thing, my favourite thing at the school is the amount of opportunities we get, the amount the teachers actually push us, the, all the extra stuff that we can do, all the clubs, all the extracurricular stuff, uh, all the trips. I think that's probably my favourite thing. It's definitely a happy school. I think you get a lot closer to the teachers because you can have actual conversations with them. Like when I've been away playing fixtures, all I've heard the teachers talking to students about is just structure, but we can have more friendly conversations with our teachers here. Uh, I like how inclusive it is and everyone can be involved no matter who they are and you always feel that you're part of something here. I can describe the school in two words, the community and how inclusive it is. Nailed it. So, to the year fives and sixes, it's really simple. It's just, it's not as big or as scary as you think. You learn your way around so quickly. I remember me being at small year seven and just absolutely terrified. But I found my way around a lot quicker than I expected. For year five or six, I'd say not to worry that it's a very friendly atmosphere and at the end of the day, you have fun. 
I think if I could go back and talk to my younger self in year six, I'd probably say, don't be afraid and always try your best. You don't get as much homework as you think, because everyone told you when you go to secondary school, you're going to get a load more homework and it's going to be really hard. But here, they sort of started slowly, so by the time you are getting a lot of homework, you're a lot more easier to do, because you're used to it. If I was to talk to year six now, I'd just say, don't worry about it. Enjoy it as much, you, as, much as you can. Thank you.